What's happening YouTube? Back in the day gamer here. Thanks for tuning into my channel for this episode of Halloween specific pickups. That's right. It's the Halloween season. I knew that because calendars. <laughs> but as it was coming up, I discovered a handful of games that were Halloween specific that I'd never heard before. So I figured I had to get them so I could make this video. So the first game of the lot is actually my favorite. And this is one I bet's gonna surprise you all and I doubt any of you have ever played. But it's a plug and play, right? Okay, it's a plug and play. And that would be none other than Scooby-Doo. Look at that, the mystery machine itself. I like how it's even got the view from the driver's side, from the front, and it's accurate. From passenger side, they're looking this way so you're seeing the back of their heads. <laughs> so I'm a huge Scooby-Doo fan, always have been. I've been watching it ever since I was little. I remember coming home from school, watching it at my grandma's house, but that's not what you care about. <laughs> uh, this one, the plug and play has got several games on it. I don't know, I should have remembered actually how many, but it's a good time, all of them. Now, keep in mind, it is a plug and play. So the wind is blowing and probably killing the audio but there are tons of leaves, so that probably looks cool, right? Maybe thumbnail? So it's got several games on it, all of which I liked. You got the mystery machine driving level, which, by the way, if I ever hit it big on this YouTube thing, start making a bunch of money, I'm gonna buy a conversion van and make it look exactly like the mystery machine, and then I'm gonna drive that around the country solving mysteries. That's gonna be my second YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that. But until then, we'll have to settle for playing this game. You know, okay, it's a driving game. It's not reinventing the wheel. You got two or three lanes, you're dodging obstacles, you're jumping ramps, getting over things. Every now and then you get a rocket boost or you get a power up to shoot things out of your way. For a plug and play game, this one's pretty damn good. You got the Frogger level board, which wasn't my favorite, but still, pretty good for a plug and play. You know you got Scooby and Shaggy, that's cool. Got your boards where you're inside the haunted house running around, solving mysteries, doing your Scooby-Doo thing. <laughs> I don't know where I heard about this one, but it was like 20 bucks shipped and I had to have it. You know, once again, check it out, super cool. Decals, accurate, got Scooby hanging out the back. The joystick lights up and it's a uh, green ghost. Yeah, Angry Baby likes to play with it. But this is a fun game. I mean, plug and plays, usually you got your Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man, but Scooby-Doo, there you go. That one was solid, glad to have it fitting the Holly, Hollywood, Halloween theme. Next up though, Game Boy Advance game. You know I've been picking up a lot of Game Boy Advance stuff. It's my newest console. This game, never heard anything about it. A Couple weeks back, saw it, looked pretty cool, got it, and it is, and that is none other than are you ready for this? You probably didn't know this existed either. Extreme Ghostbusters. It's a solid title. The color palette is really good on this game. It pops. That seems to be the case with a lot of Game Boy Advance games. The graphics aren't the best ever, but they're good. Sometimes you pick up a GBA game and the graphics really blow me away. Like for instance, Monster House. Another game, Halloween theme. We're not talking about that one. We're talking about this one. Third game, I actually think I bought this last year or some time ago in preparation for Halloween and I found it in my box of, this is gonna be Halloween <laughs> video shit. So uh, that can't be good for the audio. Should I just get closer to the camera? Is that better? Can you hear me now? The game we're talking about is none other than the Adams Family, Pugsley's Scavenger Hunt. So I am a huge Adams Family fan. Say it all the time, really of that first movie that came out in the 90s. Just love that movie. That is my one Halloween, if I don't watch anything else, 
that is the one I watch movie. Haven't watched it yet because I'm saving it, but I've been playing these games and this game is not great. No. Thumbnail. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I gotta get back inside, have a pumpkin beer, and play some more Halloween games. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And until next time, YouTube, keep it retro.